So we're standing here with Deb, who is our puppy raiser, and Lola, who is our uh, learner, or our puppy today. And we are going to see how we can set up an impulse control exercise in doing ground tether. So here are a couple of things to remember when you set up your environment. You need to have a leash. The standard leader dog leash works fine. And the leash needs to be attached to the puppy's collar. And the length is going to be important at this point. So if we were to disconnect the leash from the puppy's collar and place the hook of the puppy's leash right at the puppy's shoulder blades, when you stand on it, you should have enough length to go all the way down to the puppy's foot. So our foot is gonna be right where my thumb is. Let's set that up. So we'll clip to Lola's leash and collar. We'll measure to make sure that we have enough length and then Deb will place her foot right on the leash. Now you may notice a couple of things about Deb's shoes. She's got green tape marking the balls of her feet on the bottom of her shoe. That's important because if your puppy is big enough, and big enough may be 25 pounds, they can actually kind of pull the leash in a fashion that will uh, cause the handler to fall over. So it's really important to have the handler and the leash secured right under the feet. The other thing is, is that you want to make sure that your dog has enough room to stand, sit, and lay down comfortably during this exercise. So this is what the finished product and the finished setup should look like for ground tether. I just have to say hi to him. He's so cute. Yes. Oh my god, a puppy! Yes. Oh my god, he's so cute. How old is he? He's oh. three months old. Yes. I know I'm not supposed to greet him, but can yes. I just say hi? 
I think I have some treats for him. Oh, Is it okay? You can, only, you can only have treats from me. Yes. He's so cute. Thank you. I just love yes. that puppy. I can't believe how well behaved he is. Yes. Me either. Yes. Hi, Davy. I haven't seen you in such a long time. I'm gonna come over here and say hi to you. Yes. Davy. Can I say hi to you? Yes. Hi, cute little boy. Are you the cutest little puppy I've yes. ever seen? You're better than any yes. golden I've ever seen. That's a fact. with a slightly more excited dog what the setup might look like. This is a puppy that doesn't know us so probably gonna see some uh, more excitable behaviors. So the first thing that Melissa is going to try is just get her in the game. She needs to know that reinforcements are available. She's very aware that I'm in the picture here and she's also very excited by the environment. So if you look at our environment, there's not a lot going on here. There's a dog training on the other side of the wall, but uh, just being in this environment with people is getting her a little bit excited. Yes. So it always pays to spend a few seconds, again, letting this puppy know that some good things are available to her. Food on the floor there was beyond what she could focus, so we're gonna remove it. That's something we can work through on another session with her. She's probably been allowed to yes. get Good rewards. Yes. Good. Now we're getting a little bit of connection. Yes. It's like, oh. Yes. I'm going to drop the squirrel while the puppy actually was not looking this way. Because right now, I don't want to make too big of a, I'm not sure how close I should get to her. As you can see, she hit the end of the leash, so I'm gonna move a little bit farther away. Yes. Her up. Yes. 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 closer to her while she was not looking this way. It sets us up for a better repetition the next time because the movement is a different level of distraction yes. than the stationary squirrel. So when I pick it up, distraction. So if I work horizontally to where Melissa is standing, then my distraction is 
stays at about the same distance. I can all along this way. If I was going to go vertically, which would be toward yes. Melissa, then that is a different level of distraction where the distraction comes in yes. and the distraction goes away. So you want to, a lot of times people like to be really direct with their distracting and, and in my opinion with a dog that's being yes. easily distracted, working horizontally is the best place to start. Now she's able to tolerate a little bit of movement. So she made, uh, she moved toward the squirrel there, so I'm gonna yes. stop the movement. So as the distractor, you need to be cognizant of this. It's not about how to torment the dog. This is not a real squirrel. Yes. I think I'm going to put her in ground tether. Oh, I think that's a great idea. And that's idea. just a, a technique where I unhook the leash, I make it long, and then I'm going to step on the leash with the balls of my feet so that she's nice and secure. Okay. One of my favorite things that I like to do with her is to give her a couple of treats right on the ground to keep her occupied. Then I can reach in and get my jacket. What a great job, Callie. Good job. Good job. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. She was jumping up on people that we were meeting and I wanted to make it easier for both of us. Now she's learned a better behavior. Yes, she has. Wow, that's impressive. Thanks, Deb. Oh, you know what? What? I forgot. I have something over there. Would you mind walking, watching my dog for me? No, I would be okay. happy to. Hold on. You just get her leash. Kelly, would you like to see Miss Deb? Alrighty. I'm just going to give her a couple of treats. And then oh. hand off the leash to you. Thank you. I'll be right back. Bye. Kelly should be right back. Okay. Well, well, Kelly, while we're waiting for Melissa to come back, it might be good to put you on a ground tether since you're pulling a little bit. Huh. Look at all these emails that I haven't read today. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, thanks for watching her. Oh, wait a second while well, she's getting a little excited. She always gets like, so excited to see me. Girl, yes. See, I'm doing just like what you did before you left so that she learns that with all people, those same rules. Yes. She likes to choke on her tree. I think I'm going to do your tip. I'm going to put a couple treats on the ground so it'll take her a second to eat them while I pick up her leash. How nice is that? And we'll do that again so I can hand her off to you. Very sweet girl. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, you're well, welcome. Glad it looks like help. I forgot my jacket again. Oh, boy. Come on, Kelly. Let's <laughs> go find my coat. 